What's up guys? We are going back into Superior Being Hadler for uh, rank one clear, hopefully. Um, with kind of a custom team, um, trying to build a clear around some units that someone has that reached out to me. Um, and I will say I'm using him. Um, I know the person that uh, contacted me has Learheart. So I'm hoping they're roughly equivalent, maybe. We'll see, I guess, when they do their own clear. But for now, we'll just go with this. And I would say, if you do have some master Master's Crowns, um, and you really want to rank 1, you might want to think about leveling uh, Die to 130. And if you have the Galvanite and the Esper Ore, uh, over capping Demon Killer on Ramu, and putting that on Die. But for now, we'll just go with uh, this team as is, and we'll see how we do. So, uh, die in the base form has uh, not enough fire resist. Oh, actually, he does. It's fine. Um, yeah, we just need 20% or better for the first couple turns, and he's shifting on turn 3 where we need the higher fire resist. So, just some... Uh, I haven't leveled up my LB all the way, um, so just had some preemptive LB fill so I can get that on turn one. If you have his LB uh, leveled up to 40, then you shouldn't need that, but uh, just some fire resist from Chick Summer Hat, and yeah, like I said, the uh, some preemptive LB fill from Call of the Wild and Dragon's Brush and Advanced Weaponry. Then Shift Form. Um, the free hat we got from the box summons, his own STMR, his TMR, and some TDH from Azure Brilliance, Fire Resist from Winged Heart, uh, the uh, event materia for some Demon Killer and LB damage. Um, yeah, a couple pieces of Clash gear, and then his own vision card. If you have a better vision card, I mean like Rick's card, uh, Ibarra's card, Elena's card, uh, throw that on him, or just a, you know, the lightning card from Zach, maybe, just whatever stronger uh, card you have, if you have one, throw it on him. I think there are some stronger ones, too, from uh, some of the other uh, Dragon Quest units. And, thinking about it, well, we'll, we'll just leave, leave it as is, but, uh, so yeah, he's... Max Magic Demon, Max LB, um, yeah, that's all we need. So, Vanille, uh, some Fire Resist, a lot of that's from the Esper. She is on Phoenix with Barb Ferrega Learned. Um, she's our Fire Resist. Um, and if you're able to gear everyone to at least... I think it was, what, 80 fire resist, then just using Sylvie's fire resist skill should be fine. Uh, my rotation is kind of built around not everyone having enough fire resist, and I'm doing magic mitigation with Sylvie and fire resist from someone someone else. But like I said, if you, if you can gear to 80% fire resist for whatever form people are in on turn uh, 3, then you don't need... Uh, then you can just cast Fire Resist with Sylvie. But anyway, um, she does not get Dai's leader skill. And just to note, um, Dai is set as the leader. He leads Lightning and uh, Dragon Quest units. So, uh, she is 275 Magic Demon Killer. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all that matters. Uh, she, and just a, I use a generic flight attack card on her, and she doesn't even have any chain cap up. Um, guess we can swap in something else. I mean, her damage is pretty negligible, but as you'll see, this clear is a little tight, so any little bit will help. I think the indestructible light's probably gonna gain her more damage than a little bit of modifier boost from Barbarisha's spirit. Or whatever the TMR is called. <clears throat> so anyway, 
there's her setup. Uh, dagger base form, uh, Yuna's necklace, uh, the plus one if you have it, uh, some fire resist, and Esperfill, and magic boost if you have it from Dark Rain. And just again, another generic flat magic card. And I think I may have said flat attack on vanilla. It's just flat magic from this card. But shift form, uh, she is geared for max Esper, max Evo damage. Um, what else? Tried to go with kind of a budget staff. It's a free event staff. If you have a stronger staff, use that. I don't think this really gives anything like TDH or, yeah, nothing. Nothing too special. I mean, some flat stats for Saul, but. And what else? Yeah, chain cap up. And promise from childhood for the, from, uh, Tifa, just for the chain accelerator. So there's her setup. Uh, him, uh, or Liar Hart, if that's who you have. Um, just, you know, set them up as best as you can. I'm not sure how their damage compares, honestly. Um, I think I was kind of glanced at Liar Hart on his, uh, the summon page. And I think one of his things gives him like almost 2000 flat attack. So I don't know if he gears higher than him, but they're both going to be off element. They're both going to not have a, you know, an ideal imperil field. That said, if you have Avon, uh, which I don't think this gentleman does or lady, I'm not sure, but, um, Avon would be preferable to Vanille because he has an imperil field to light and wind as well as lightning, so that would help him. But as it stands, we're going to be mixing elements with him or Liar Heart and without an imperil field, so that's kind of nerfed a little bit for them. But regardless, uh, just give them as best as you can. Preemptive LB boost. I'm not sure if Liar Heart has that built into his kit, but I know him doesn't. So if you don't have Dark Reagans, um, STMR, then I suppose you would want to put Titus's STMR for the preemptive LB boost. So, and there is an open slot. So if you have something like, uh, kind hearted flutist or hateful agent, you can use that. Shouldn't need chain accelerator just because, um, we're jumping into the chain once it's already built to, uh, max. But yeah, so max physical demon. Um, oh, it's missing some LB damage. <laughs> Whoops. So I guess there's not an open slot. So we can just use whatever, literally, Alliance Heart. Okay, so there we go. Then remake cloud, some Esperfill, uh, fire resist, obsidian bracer. We're not going to be able to put up um, Vanille's offensive breaks, just her defense and spirit break. So in case you know gearing and whatnot, you're going to be taking damage on someone. You have an offensive break, but uh, Titus's garb for the preemptive LB boost, if you have it. Yeah, again, as per Phil. And then his Chronicle Weapon for the flat stats. And tried to go budget gear on the rest of his stuff. Um, he is kind of hard to gear. He needs two sources of chain cap increase. So if you can get that from a vision card, which off the top of my head for physical attackers, there are just two. There's Ibarra's and um, Titus's cards. So if you don't have either of those, which I don't believe they do, you would have to have, you know, either the Cal accessory built for chain cap or uh, Regina's TMR, STMR, which is what we're using here. And then save your soul's lightnings. 
SDMR. So this does require having pulled a few copies of Savior of Souls Lightning. So, so yeah, three, it looks like. Three of her STMR being used all around. But he is at Max LB, um, Max Demon. It, but this build does require uh, Cog's card. So I know, and again, uh, Zach's card would give him the LB damage he needs and be a better fit uh, for Cloud. It's higher stats. But as far as filling LB damage for Cloud, this is probably the best budget option. Unless you have a Helm and you can get Demon Killer somewhere else. But there we go. Then Sylvie, uh, passive provoke evade, uh, at least 80% fire resist. And she's good, the same in both forms. We do want some Esper fill in the shift form. I mean, might as well, we have it in the base form, so. But yeah, so three Bahamut synergies and, um, Summer Parasol, and that should be enough for Dagger. So, anyway, we'll get into the fight here. So, turn one, we're gonna LB Cloud for the Great Sword and Peril in the base form. Dai is gonna base form LB for the Sword and Peril. Benil is going to put up Bar Ferrega from the Esper. Dagger is going to Hymn of the Faith just to boost her own damage a little bit. So that is four turns. Him can just guard. And Sylvie can Paladin's Defense for the Mirage. Uh... Elemental Vines for the Magic Mitigation, and then Compassionate Knight for the Stop Resist. Okay, this turn, Vanille is going to, let's see, Quaking Engine, Fissure Field. So, Quaking Engine for the defensive breaks and the Imperils, Fissure Field for the Imperil Field, and LB Fill in case you're Vanille's EX1. Dagger can summon Ramu. Die can just fill LB. Cloud can fill LB. Him can just guard again. And Sylvie can shift. And she can just put up uh, Lightning 1. <clears throat> Which, honestly, come to think of it, the only... Oh, no, no. We need this for him or Liar Heart, whoever the off-element unit is. So, never mind. We do need Sylvie for this. Okay, so now we set up. So we're going to Elemental Burst Light with him. I'll blow everything away for a 200% Demon Killer on himself. And then um, Promotion uh, for the LB mod. And I'm not sure what the R Hearts kit looks like. I'm not sure if he has that Demon Killer or not. But hopefully he does have his own 200% Demon Killer. But I'm assuming, you know, it'd be a similar thing, just a Elemental Burst Wind, Demon Killer, and then his LB mod. Die is going to shift, and he'll do Elemental Burst Lightning. Uh, with this strike uh, for the Demon Killer. And actually, we're getting... Sylvie's casting the 250 Demon Killer on the die next turn anyway, but 
honestly, there's really not much else for him to do. Um, I mean, he could refresh the sword in peril, but that really wouldn't make any difference. So we'll just stick with this. Elemental Burst Lightning um, with this strike and then Dragonoid for the LB mod and store magic. Uh, Vanille can LB this turn. And Dagger is going to uh, magic boost. Cloud can do his setup. So uh, Ignition, Infinity's End, I guess, and Elemental Burst Lightning. And Sylvie can shift at LB. Okay, so this turn. And I should have mentioned it, I did upgrade Thundaga on Vanille all the way, but her damage is kind of poop anyway, so I'm not sure how important that is. But we're going to triple Thundaga with her. Dagger's going to shift, and she will triple cast her Lightning Chaos Wave Awakened skill. Sylvie can uh, just... Whatever, really. Bolt Egg Basket, I guess. Um, poached Demon on the die. And I've got your back over to him. Or the R Heart. Uh, the, you know, off element unit's gonna SLB this turn. Cloud's gonna shift and do a shifted LB to chain with them. And then die is going to use shifted LB. So we're going to send Dagger and Vanille, let the chain build, send, uh, once it hits around, you know, three or four hundred, send Die, wait a sec, like half a second, and then send him and Cloud. So Die's LB is two hits, and they're pretty close together, so um, it does take a while to hit. So you don't want to wait too long on the Bolting Strike Chainers in the back row. Otherwise, Die is going to hit in the Chaos Wave Awaken chain. And I'm assuming he would probably break that chain. But you don't want to send them too quick. Otherwise, Die is going to hit after they're done, you know, casting. So. So here we go. Like a high roll on cloud there, hopefully. Well, that may have been him. That two billion at the end. So twenty three seven. That was unfortunate. I have a feeling die rolled low. Oh yeah, way low. Pretty high on die and cloud, unfortunately. So I am going to cut the video and I will be back in a second when I get a uh, uh, rank one score, damage score. So see you here in a second. Okay, we are back to try another burst. Hopefully this one, uh, it's at least 24 and a half billion. So again, Sylvie's given Demon Killer to die. Um, I've got your back over to him, and then just whatever else, as long as you're not doing an Earth imbue. So here we go. So we'll chain the Chaos Wave Awaken chainers, let the chain build, send die, and then send the back row. Okay, so there we go. 24 9. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it does require uh, 
some of the cow gear. But like I said, if you have the, um, if you really want to rank one and you have the resources, maybe taking die up to uh, level 130 would be an option. And, or, you know, over Captain Killer on Ramu and putting Ramu on die. But, um, yeah, anyway, there it is. Uh, hope it helped. Uh, catch you later. Thanks for watching.